Sai Ram class, how are you all? I hope that you all are very fine. So class, as we were in our chapter number 12, Algebraic Expression and in exercise 12.2 and we were discussing about addition and subtraction of algebraic expression. So let's recall it again so that we can solve the subtraction of algebraic expression easily. So we discussed that we can only add or subtract like terms. We could not add or subtract unlike terms together. Okay. And the second thing is whenever we sum or difference means subtract two or more like terms. So the answer will be the, the like term means if we add x that is 2x plus 3x. So, answer will be 5x that is the like terms itself. And the answer, the numerical coefficient of answer is equal to the, in case of sum, the equal to the sum of the numerical coefficient of like term. And in case of subtraction, the numerical coefficient of answer is equal to the difference between the numerical coefficient of the like terms which we subtracted okay now let's start doing the question so this third question of exercise 12.2 is we have to subtract the given pair of algebraic expressions so now the very important thing you have to keep in mind that you have to keep in mind the language so you can see in this question we have to subtract minus 5 y square from y square so how we have to write it we have to write y square first then we have to put the negative sign then we have to write minus 5 y square in bracket now in this way we can subtract this from this and this is the same thing we have to do with all others so let's start doing the question so the first part is y square minus in bracket minus 5 y square so minus minus will become positive and now we have two like terms so we can take the algebraic factor com common so we will have 1 plus 5 in bracket so the answer is 6 y square next part is 6 x y that is subtract 6 x y from minus 12 x y that means we have to write minus 12 x y first then minus sign then 6 x y so two negative like terms so that means they will be add and we will have negative in answer so the answer is minus 18 x y now you can see here that the answer is the like term which we added or subtracted and the answer the numerical coefficient of answer is the solution of the numerical coefficient of the like terms right now the third part is a minus b we have to subtract a minus b from a plus b so we have to write a plus b first then negative sign then a minus b First, we have to open the bracket. Now, here we have negative sign in front of bracket. So, the all the inside sign will change. So, the positive A will become negative A and negative, will, negative B will become positive B. Now, we have to write all like terms together. So, it is A minus B. Sorry, A minus A plus B plus B. So, may A minus A will give you 0. And B plus B will give you 2B. Okay. Now the fourth part is we have to subtract A within bracket B minus 5 from B within bracket 5 minus A. So that means we have to write this first, then negative sign and then this expression. Now first we have to solve this and this individually. That means we have to multiply b with 5 and a here we have to multiply a with b and 5 so multiplication of b and 5 is 5b 
b n minus a minus a b minus a n b minus a b minus a n minus 5 5 a so now we have to put all the like terms together so here we have two a b's both are negative so it will become negative 2 a b and we have 5 a plus 5 b negative 2 a b and this is our answer now the next part is minus m square plus 5 m n and we have to subtract it from 4 m square minus 3 m n plus 8 so we have to write it first then we have to put the negative sign then we have to write minus m square plus 5 m n so first we have to open the bracket so negative m square will become positive and positive 5 mn will become negative 5 mn. Now put all the like terms together. So we have 4 m square plus m square. It will become 4 plus 1 m square that is 5 m square. Here we have negative 3 mn, negative 5 mn. So both negative will add and we will have negative 8 mn. And here we have 8 as constant. So our answer is 5 m square negative 8 m n positive 8 next part we have to subtract this expression from this one so we have to write this first then negative sign then the this one expression now open the bracket first so all the inside sign will change so negative 8 negative x square will become positive x square positive 10x will become negative 10x negative 5 will become positive 5 now put all the like terms together so 5x minus 10x so 5 minus 10 that is 5 minus 10 will give us negative 5x here we have positive x square so we write it x square and we have two constant negative 10 positive 5 it will be negative 5 so this is our answer next is we have to subtract 5 a square negative 7 a b plus 5 b square from 3 a b plus sorry 3 a b minus 2 a square minus 2 b square so we have to write the second expression first then negative sign then first expression now we have to open the bracket which have negative sign in front of it so all the inside sign will change so positive 5a square will become negative negative 7ab will become positive 7ab and positive 5b will become negative 5b now put all the like terms together to so 3ab plus 7ab 3a square minus 5a square sorry 2a square minus 5a square 2b square minus 5b square now solve it by taking the algebraic factors common so here we have 3 plus 7 that is 7 a b negative 2 negative 5 that is 7, minus 7 a square negative 2 negative 5 that is minus 7 b square so it is our answer now the last part is we have to subtract 4 p q minus 5 q square minus 3 p square from 5 p square plus 3 q square minus p square so we have to put the first expression in bracket now we have to open the bracket so all the inside sign will change so it will be negative 4 p q positive 5 q square and positive 3 p q now put all the like terms together so 5 p square plus 3 p square will become 8 p square positive 3 positive 5 q square will become 8 q square and 2 negative will add together so it will be negative 5 q p now i hope that you all get that how we have to subtract two given expression but you have to keep the language in mind okay now the same thing we have to do in further three questions so let's start with question number four the first part is 
what should be added means what we have to add in this expression to obtain this okay so what we have to do let's assume a be the required term means let's take that expression as a so that means we have to add a in this term to get this now what we will do we will take this whole expression to the another side of equal and it will go as negative so indirectly what we are doing we are subtracting this expression with this answer okay so first we have to open the bracket now we have to do the same procedure we did in previous question first we have to open the bracket so all the inside sign will change and then we have to put all the like terms together then we have to take algebraic factors common then we will have our answer okay class so you can see it again what should be added to this to obtain this that means indirectly they are saying that we have to subtract this expression from this one okay so the same thing we are doing here we are taking the required term as a and then we will take this whole expression to the another side of equal so it will go in negative then we have to open the bracket so positive x square will become negative x square positive xy will become negative xy positive y square will become negative y square then we are taking all the like terms together and then we are taking the algebraic factor as common then we will have a answer now the same thing we have to do in second part but it is a case of subtraction so let's see what we have to do so the question is what should be subtracted means what we have to subtract what we have to subtract from this to get this expression okay so let's assume x be that required term then we can write it as this expression x this is our required term which we assumed and this is our answer so now we are taking this x to this side so it will go as positive and this expression to this side so it will come as negative okay now the same thing we have to open the bracket first with negative sign in front of the bracket so all the inside sign will change so negative a 3a will become positive 3a positive 7b will become negative 7b and positive 16 will become negative 16 now put all the like terms together and now solve it so 2a plus 3a will become 5a 8b minus 7b will become b and 10 minus 16 will become minus 6 so this is that required term term which we subtracted from this to get this so you can see that what is the most important thing is you have to understand the language of their question that from which expression you have to subtract or add to which expression okay now let's move on to the next question which is question number five now look at this question it is exactly same as the b part of question number four the question is what should be taken away from this means what should be subtracted from this to obtain this that means you have to write this expression this one 3x square minus 4y square plus 5xy plus 20 then you have to take let's take y capital y or let's take a capital a so 3x square minus 4y square plus 5xy plus 20 minus a that means you are subtracting this term from this to get this now this term will come in the another side of equals so now 
what you have to do exactly you have to subtract this term from this to get the answer that is first you have to write this term then you have to place negative sign then you have to write this term here as we did in second part of question number fourth so this question is your today's homework you have to do it yourself now let's move on to the last question of this exercise that is question number six first part is find the sum of this and this and then we have to subtract this from its addition so first we have to find the sum of these two expression that is 3x minus y plus 11 plus minus y minus 11 so put all the like terms together so we will have 3x minus 2y and these two will cancel out now what we have to do we have to subtract this from their sum so this is the sum of the previous two expression now what we have to do we have to write this first then put negative sign and then we have to write this expression so 3x minus 2y minus and within bracket we have to write 3 x minus y minus 11 now take out all the things from the bracket so all the sign will change so positive 3x will become negative 3x negative y will become positive y and negative 11 will become positive 11 now put all the like terms together so it will cancel out and we will have minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1y that is minus y and 11 as constant okay now the second part is from the sum of this and this that means we have to take their sum first then we have to subtract from the sum of these two we have to subtract the sum of these two so first we have to sum this this and then we have to sum this and this let's do that much first so the sum of 4 plus 3x and 5 minus 4x plus 2x square is this put both the expression with positive sign in between them then put all the like terms together and then solve it so this is the answer of their sum then we have to sum the other two expression that is 3x square minus 5x minus x square plus 2x plus 5 put them together with positive sign in between them positive sign means the expression will we can write same as it is then write all the like terms together and solve it so this is the answer of this summation now what we have to do we have to subtract the answer of this means this from this okay so we have to write this expression first then we have to put negative sign then we have to write this expression so here it is that is we have to write 2x square minus x plus 9 minus 2x square minus 3x plus 5 now this is in bracket so we have to put all the things outside the bracket so all the inside sign will change so positive 2x square will become negative 2x square negative 3x will become positive 3x and positive 5 will become negative 5 now put all the like terms together and then take the algebraic factor as common and solve the whole expression and we will have our answer which is 2x plus 4 okay so class in today's class we discussed that how we can subtract the two like terms okay so the most important thing is language of the question so you have to focus on the language of the question then the solution will become easy so class practice all this question by your own and we will start our new exercise in our next class till then thank you